As we come on the air tonight, many of you will be sending your children back to school in just a matter of hours. As schools reopen, we have already seen two of our local schools come down with COVID-19 cases. A scary thought for any parent, especially those sending kids off to ride the bus to class. With one of the biggest districts in the state heading back to school tomorrow, we wanted to find out what is the Baldwin County School District doing to keep our bus riders safe. NBC 15's Corey Pippen joins us with the plan and why some parents will be doing the driving themselves. Baldwin County school officials say strict health safety measures will be in place on buses, but they admit social distancing will not always be possible. Some parents tell me they're not taking any chances. COVID-19 protocols in schools will be tested before students even set foot on campus as more than 300 Baldwin County buses pack in thousands of kids every day. Even with health safety measures in place, it's causing parents to think twice about transportation. I know they're doing the best they can to open schools, but they only have so many buses, they only have so many drivers, and they only have so much space. Daphne parent Wendy Phillips says she will be driving her daughter to middle school this year. If COVID was not a thing right now, she would be on the bus. I could see buses being a real hot spot for you know, catching the virus. School officials say buses will be sanitized each day and before and after each route. Hand sanitizer will be provided and students will wear masks and attempt social distancing. But Superintendent Eddie Tyler does encourage private transportation if possible, saying, quote, I would set your expectations on seeing a bus full of children with more than one child per row. The reality is that we do not have extra buses, and even if we had the money, there is no way for us to have procured a quantity of buses large enough to socially distance. Jada Allen says she initially considered not letting her special needs daughter go to school. But she needs this in order to be around kids and socialize, and we try to keep her as healthy as we can, but ultimately we know she's going to be exposed. Allen says she'll drive drive her daughter to school in the morning, but is comfortable enough with the safety measures to let her ride the bus home. They're doing everything they can to protect the kids. School officials say roughly 7,000 students are enrolled in virtual school, which they expect will help reduce bus congestion. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.